my name is Shalom if you're new I do videos on pop culture stuff I review music from lovely artists of course I do it I do it all guys I, I do it bloody all okay it's impressive at this point no I'm just joking I do videos on pop culture stuff review music and I just yap a lot basically this video I'm gonna give you my opinions and just everything that I've been holding back with this album okay because Normani has released an album get up everyone get up all right because Normani has finally released this album before I get into this video press that sub button and also press the like button as well and comment whatever you think about the album because oh my gosh guys we're finally at 2k ah we're finally at 2k I'm gonna say Okay, this is a very short album for me because a 40 minute album, a 41 minute, 36 second album, you made us wait five years for a 40 minute album. I was just about, you know, getting comfortable. I was listening to it. As soon as I got comfortable, the album was over. I was like, what? What? For me, like 40 minutes, even if an artist didn't make me wait five, six years for an album, I'd say... 40, 50 minutes, because I'm used to albums being like 50 minutes, an hour, an hour and five. That is an album for me, okay? That's what that's when I'm well fed. I was expecting Normani to feed us good, you know, at, at least a 50 minute, 55 minute album or like even an hour. I was expecting something to be like an hour long because in interviews she said that, oh, I have so many albums in the stash. I have so many songs which I can make like three albums out of and you give us 40 minutes. This album is just very much pure R&B. It is very mellow. It's like sensual. It's very grown up. Like some of the songs I was like, oh, 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 okay, no money. You're going to talk about that. If you do not like very kind of mellow, slow, like R&B, this probably isn't for you. If you're looking for something like up tempo, if you're looking for like motivation, no money, like, you know, upbeat, no money, you're not going to find it here. If you really love the song motivation, this album is not going to be for you because motivation to this album they have very different sounds this is very much r&b and motivation is very much like pop like you know what i mean bubblegum pop there's nothing wrong with bubblegum pop but like it's very much pop you know what i mean okay i'm yapping okay the first song big boy featuring stara i'm not gonna lie i love this song guys i i freaking love this song i had no business okay back background story i was listening to this album at like 10 a.m right I don't know why I woke up that early, but anyways, it was like 10 a.m. I was listening to this album and tell me why I was just dancing so hard to this. Like, I can't even like dance great, but I was still dancing. Like this song is just so upbeat, but this is just such a, a confident, you know, bling, bling, blow. Like I've got all these platinum hits, like what's on my wrist and whatever. Da, 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 da. I feel like it's just so like confident and like, cocky. And I love that. I love to see Normani being like, you know, cocky, confident and stuff like that, you know, and just talking it ish being like, yeah, it's all this platinum hits. A lot of people forget that Normani has platinum hits, okay? Like, she has some hits. Featured artists did nothing for me whatsoever. And if you are new to my channel, featured artists for me, what I think a featured, a featured artist should do, featured artists shouldn't outshine the pattern, the person whose song it is, but they shouldn't be forgettable. Like, And this person just didn't add anything for me. She was just mirroring what Normani was saying in the prior verses just repeating and adding ad-libs like, I could have done that artist's verse you know in like five minutes and it's just a bit predictable because like nothing changed like she didn't change the cadence like the flow or anything she was just repeating what Normani said and I'm not gonna lie a lot of the features on this album I didn't really care for apart from Gunna surprisingly 159 I love that song I wasn't expecting to like that song because I thought gonna I don't know about this one okay I don't know I was like oh, is it gonna be a hit is it gonna be and it hit for me I thought it's gonna be a miss but I really like that song I love 159 so my favorite songs okay big boy big boy with Stara well without her would have been great still insomnia oh my gosh if rca records do not push insomnia i'm literally gonna go to the headquarters and choke the ceo out like guys please restrain me it is ugh, insomnia is just such a good song and the guitar solo in that song is just pure gold the thing is about this album it is such a good solid body of work it's such good r&b quality music like as other r&b artists please open your eyes this is what we call really good R&B, mellow, smooth vocals and music, like Chloe Bailey, 
take some flipping notes. RCA, you have to push insomnia. They have to push candy paint and insomnia. And what I find so stupid, when Normani released Fair, which isn't even on the flipping album, sorry, I'm getting really angry. I shouldn't be getting this angry because RCA and Normani don't even know who I am. Nothing I say they will ever hear. But what makes me so angry is that, so when Normani released Fair, which isn't even on the album, what I would have done in Normani's team, if I was smart, honestly, Normani's team is just horrible. She needs to fire her entire team and she needs to escape RCA records. Instead of releasing Fair at that time, I would have released Candy Paint because that was such a good upbeat song. Come on, everyone loved that song. As soon as we had the snippet on TikTok, everyone was obsessed with that song. But instead she released Fair and because Fair didn't sell, RCA put her on the shelf again. If she had released Candy Paint at that time of Fair, she would have probably been able to release that album then. Or her label could have gotten her to do Motivation, do Wild Side, maybe wait a little bit, then Candy Paint, or vice versa or whatever, and then she should have released the album then. When she released Wild Side is when she should have catapulted and just took that moment and released the album. Because, you know, that, like, it's just common sense, guys. Like, come on, put me on her team. Please, no money. Hire me, please. Hire me. One thing I will always say about Wild Side is I love Wild Side. However, Cardi B's bit will always just grind my gears. I always skip her bit every time. Or I always play the one without her verse. You know when Normani performed, I think it was at the VMAs and she did the verse, uh, like the verse without Cardi in it. I love that verse. I was like, we we need that. We need that. I would gladly listen to that over Cardi B's verse. And the only reason I prefer the song without Cardi B on it is because it just sounds awkward at some bits like Cardi B is like struggling with the beat a bit and it sounds a bit awkward with like some places the way she paces her rapping and it sounds like it just sounds a bit rushed in my opinion I just don't think Cardi B suits R&B songs in my opinion what I don't get is Normani actually does good quality music which sells and we've seen her sell but they're just holding her back. I don't understand why, because if they actually let her release the music that she should release, then they would get a slice of the pie as well. So I don't understand why they're holding her back and keeping her at such a surface level. Take my time. Oh my gosh, that is a pop bop, okay? That, was <laughs> that is a pop bop hit, okay? Take my time reminds me of something. I could generally hear Ariana Grande singing that. It was a bit too mellow, a bit too slow at times. I would have loved to hear more fast paced songs because the only fast paced songs were probably Candy Pain, um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, Take My Time. Like Those are probably like the, the fastest paced songs. I would have loved to hear more fast paced pop songs because in my opinion, Normani's money is when she does pop songs. When she does pop songs, that's when she excels. Majority of her fan base, they want to see her do pop songs. But I didn't see any dark skin pop girlies dancing to the level of Normani, doing the performances of Normani. I never grew up seeing that. I just grew up seeing the Rihanna's, the Beyonce's, the Lady Gaga's, the Ariana Grande's. Um, uh, like that's, that's who I grew up with. So I never saw someone of my skin shade or darker doing pop music so that's when i started listening to fifth harmony i was ecstatic i was literally screaming i was like i want this girl to do so well and the other thing i don't like is i was frothing to hear more pop music from normani i was frothing at the mouth literally frothing to hear more pop music and i just didn't get it i was a bit disappointed because you know she's now marketing herself as more of an r&b artist when i think she would be so much more successful if she had went the pop route and really stuck to that and really, you know, perfected her craft in pop music than R&B. Her biggest song on Spotify is Dancing with a Stranger with Sam Smith. Her biggest song, her biggest song on Spotify are her pop songs. So to me, I just don't know why Normani and her team took the R&B route and made slower songs when in reality, Normani sells more when she does high fast paced music and she's dancing 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 she doesn't sell music very well when she's being very vulnerable because look at fair she tried to you know break up the pace in her discography and you guys didn't support her that song you you didn't support her and she was put on the shelf by rca so i don't understand 
why her team went with the R&B sound. You know, if it's not broke, don't flip and fix it. As much as RCA should be in jail, we can't keep blaming them because Normani, there were so many chances where she could have connected more of her fans, so many things she could have done on social media, there's so many challenges she, should have, she could have done with her singles, like Motivation, Wildside, etc, etc. And the promotion for this album has just been horrible, I'm not even going to lie. But I, I can't find any first week sales or anything that normally means that the sales are just very low or... They just haven't been done yet. I'm hoping it's the second option. I've seen Normani partying with Megan and Cardi B and she is out there. She's hyper, her personality comes out. So I'm just like, why can't you just be like that? But in interviews, every time I watch Normani interview, it's like she's holding something back. I'm hoping that people generally do listen to this album. <laughs>